such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Now turn to Genesis 1. What the Bible's teaching here is that there are three heavens. There are three heavens. From our perspective, we look up. We see the sky that the birds are in. We see outer space or cosmos that the stars are in. And then we can't see it, but then there's God's throne, the third heaven, where this man was saying in the Spirit, this guy was caught up to the third heaven. He was carried by the Lord to see a miraculous vision. So there are three heavens that are taught in the Bible. It's called paradise. In Luke 23, Jesus said, Verily, verily, he said, Verily, I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Right? Now, he was with the Godhead that same day in heaven. Revelation 2, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. So paradise is used to reference the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Specifically, God's dwelling place, where God's throne is. Now, the King James Bible has it right in, in Genesis 1. I want you to see this. This is very important. This is the easiest verse to spot a fake Bible. Genesis 1, 1. From the very beginning, the devil is attacking the Word of God. Look what it says. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Very clear. Now there are three heavens. This first day, God creates His dwelling place. God creates His area. This is before everything else. Every other Bible says heavens, plural. Whether it's a New King James or an NIV, they change the first verse, they make it plural. God did not create three heavens on the first day. He tells us what order He makes these things. And to say such a thing makes the Bible a lie. It makes it contradict itself. Look, so the first day He created light and day that first day. Look at verse number 6. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Look at verse 8. And God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. So here in the second day, God clearly creates heaven. Now if He created all three heavens on the first day, wouldn't that be a contradiction? Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. And every other Bible attacks Genesis 1.1. Listen, this is basic doctrine. This is the beginning of the Bible. And anybody that has a bad Bible, you can take them there and show them what has been changed. This is important. We also So the firmament, that's what God called it, the firmament. I heard a guy one time say, if you're driving down the road and you put your hand out the window, it's, it's like it's firm, but there's nothing really there. Like, okay, makes sense, sort of, you know. But God uses this, this word firmament to describe the heavens, then He names it heaven. And, of course, then in the third day, He creates the dry land, the earth and grass. The fourth day, He creates the sun, moon, and stars. Now look at verse 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So here He's talking about on the fourth day that God is creating the sun, moon, and the stars. And that we can use calculations for times from it. God set them in, in the heavens for a reason. And this is outer space. This is cosmos. This is not where the birds fly. This is not where God dwells. On the fifth day, God creates the fish and the birds. Look at verse number 20. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So here... We have the, the third heaven, really the first heaven from our perspective, which is where the birds fly. It's the open firmament of heaven. The birds are going to fly around in it. So those are the three heavens that God created. He did it all in the first week, but He did not do it in the first day. Other, otherwise, that verse just simply contradicts it, makes things very confusing. We know on the sixth day, God created the land animals and mankind. And on the seventh day, God rested. Now look at Genesis chapter 2. Verse number 1. It says, Thus 
The heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. I want you to think about this. In Genesis 2.1 it says he finished creating the heavens. He had to do it over a series of days. He didn't have to. God could have snapped his fingers. He did it for a reason to teach us something. But Genesis 1.1, if he created all three on the first day, that would be a contradiction. Not only the verses 14 and 20 we looked at, but Genesis 2.1, it would be a contradiction. 